hard to believe the Ruth Lyons Children's Fund has been around for more than eight decades. Yeah, and you know, while it started as a way to make sure that every child in the hospital over the holidays had a gift to open, it has turned into so much more. It's helping hospitals all over greater Cincinnati, including one that specializes in saving the tiniest of lives. It's scary enough having a baby, but when your baby is sick or too small to come home, the fear and worry is haunting. Honestly, didn't think he was going to make it through it, but he did, and he's been fighting ever since. Jessica Francis' son, Alexander, has been in Good Samaritan's NICU for more than 100 days. It was really difficult. Lindsay Jarvis had her son Michael six weeks early. There was no rocking him to sleep at night or going into his room to make sure he was okay. I would say it felt like um, a piece of me was missing. That was eight months ago. Michael is home now and is a happy, healthy little boy. But these moms will never forget the things that got them through those dark days. The amazing NICU nurses and the gifts from a woman they never met. I've witnessed tears before. They're very sometimes taken back by such a generous thing because it's so there's so much time and effort put into making these. Every baby in Good Sam's NICU gets a handmade quilt. No two are alike. The fabric comes from the Ruth Lyons Children's Fund. The babies each get a snuggly Ruth Lyons sleep sack. Moms are given books and a journal to document every heart-pounding moment. And with each milestone, the moms are given custom, handmade glass beads as a way for them to remember their baby's journey. All of this part of a legacy that started with a TV legend 82 years ago. Such a worthwhile thing and it has done so much and meant so much to so many hospitals and sick children. I had always thought that all of these things were really great, but when you're the recipient of them, it really makes this place feel more like home. The NICU is an emotional place, even when 100 days later, it's finally time to go home. Yes able to meet his brother and sister, and they're like so excited. But sometimes the smallest things can make the biggest difference. Her legacy is, is living on, and it's living on in a way that provides families a home away from home. More than three decades after her death, Ruth Lyons continues taking care of Cincinnati's children. We've covered so many of these stories and donations, and this is one thing I didn't realize. Since its inception, the Ruth Lyons Children's Fund has gifted more than $22 million to area hospitals, and more than 370000 of that has gone to Good Samaritan. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure every single penny of that money, the families appreciate Absolutely. that they get that help from And them. you just wonder, what is Ruth you know, thinking up there that it is transformed mm -hmm. into this? They've created facilities and developmental areas for these children. I mean, it really is beautiful what her legacy has become.